Hi, I'm Greg Paulson at Zometry and it's time for another engineering challenge. So you've watched our videos and you have asked for one thing, fire. As an engineer, I'm not necessarily going to design a plastic part and throw it into a fireplace, but there may be a situation where my parts are beside something that creates a lot of heat, such as an exhaust pipe or engine block. For this test, we decided to print out in different materials from different technologies. The Vero Clear up front, which is a polyjet material. Then I have dyed blue SLS nylon, yellow ASA, white polycarbonate. And then our higher performance materials are black Ultim 9085, natural Ultim 1010, and PPSF, which is a material that you may not have heard much about, and it's used for more scientific and specialized applications. We drew some inspiration from YouTube channel Cars and Water, where they do the red hot nickel ball test. So we're going to heat this up to a thousand degrees and then put it on some of our parts and see what happens. So will it melt? Yeah, it'll probably melt. But seeing how it'll melt will be very interesting. This is Polyjet Rigid Translucent Clear. So what's interesting is it's actually kind of carving out a little cavity and it's kind of nesting itself pretty well. I love the sizzle. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> This is definitely not a temperature resistant part. You just see all the soot that's accumulated over the clear material and all over the nickel ball too. There we go. Yellow FDM ASA. It actually looks like it's vibrating back and forth. I think it's the bubbles from the plastic melting. It's melting and burning at the same time because you're getting an ambery dark char that's happening. So the SLS was more kind of like a milky, just kind of melting around the peripheral there. I wish I could flip it over. It kind of looks like a lemon underneath right now with this giant uh, melted drop coming through. Ooh. There we go. Melted ASA and, oh, it shedded it right off very nicely. So SLS nylon dyed blue. It's actually holding up pretty well. I thought it'd be on fire. So you can see the nylon liquefying and a heck of a lot of smoke being made. It smells like the SLS work center right now. It has that like very nice nutty aroma to it. You can actually see the ball rotating ever so slightly in this direction. So it's lubricated on the melted mass. Oh, boom. <laughs> 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 Do you see this? This is cool. This is amazing. <laughs> it formed a drop and solidified. It's like an Easter egg. A gross Easter egg. White polycarbonate, FDM. Scary yellow smoke. So this is kind of acting a little bit like SLS, where it's kind of boiling out the material, which says that it's actually a little bit more temperature resistant than the other materials that like went to a straight char. Uh, kind of looks like a pizza crust. There. <laughs> some gooiness underneath. It's a polycarbonate art piece. So this is black Ultim 9085, which is actually a flame retardant material. The unspectacularness of this is actually a good thing because it does have this flame retardant, so if something bad does happen, it stays relatively contained. Oh, weird. So it's actually rotating around. I think it's just kind of staying at the, at the top there. I think that's it, guys. Very exciting Ultim ball here. Ultim 1010, which is typically recommended as our highest performance material uh, that we 3D print with. We do have two types of Ultim. Ultim 1010 is a little bit more heat resistant. And just like the other Ultim, this is flame retardant. So very boring, but in this case for high performance materials, boring is very good to see. My guess is that's just about it for an Ultim. There we go, it's like creme brulee on the inside. Ultim brulee. So it's last material PPSF. So I have no idea how this will actually react. PPSA is highly heat resistant, also chemical resistant. Typically when we see this, we're using it to build something that is going to be in a very harsh environment, usually in a scientific lab setting. I think that's it. So, PPSF. It actually, yeah, it dipped a lot farther than I thought it would. So here are the results of our Will It Melt Challenge. 
So we did start off with the Polyjet because it does have the lowest melting temperature. And sure enough, with the nickel ball, it did just catch fire immediately. So we kind of got a mixture of char and melt. We then moved to our ASA, which is the next in the melting temperatures for these materials. And it did melt through very, very quickly. It's so SLS and polycarbonate had a very similar experience where they melted through. We did see more puddling showing kind of a slightly higher temperature resistance. And then our three high performance materials, the two types of Altum and the PPSF did show true to what their data sheets say and what these materials are meant to do, which is a low smoke point, high temperature resistance. So we didn't see a full melt through, although PPSF was getting a little closer than I thought it would. This is why they're used for laboratory, aerospace, and other applications where high performance and high temperatures may be involved. If you're interested in learning more about our materials or the different processes that we have, we have data sheets as well as design guides online at zometry.com. As always, we have live engineering support and all you need is a 3D file to get started with our project. Thank you so much.